Welcome back, everybody, to episode two as I play through RimWorld for the very first time on the channel. Uh, we're picking up right where we left off with our little village that we have started, uh, and I'm not going to say a whole lot about it, uh, just to pick up where we were. And if you didn't see the first episode, I'll put a link in the description that will take you back to the very beginning. As always, as a new player to this game, I welcome uh, any input, any observations, any suggestions that you might have uh, as a more experienced player, use the comment section below. Please hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already. Let's continue on. So I'm looking for some animals to hunt that won't be too difficult to take down. And uh, I see these Ibex uh, up here. There's an Ibex ram and an Ibex doe. So we're going to go ahead and hunt both of those. That'll get us uh, some additional meat. It's nighttime. Uh, not a lot going on. I'm also just kind of scouring the area to see if there's any other sources of steel that I hadn't previously found. There were a couple of spaceship parts that I found in different areas that I've gone ahead and um, dealt with. I don't know why we haven't buried this body. Oh, I know why we haven't buried the body, because we had it set to not allow. So we gotta go deal with that body. He's been dead for two days, uh, and we don't want our people freaking out because they run across that, so we'll take care of that. Uh, there's a mega sloth kind of roaming around out here that we might wanna deal with at some point. So one of the things that I never noticed until one of you pointed out to me is the fact that when you put a doorway, it doesn't automatically have floors. So uh, somebody suggested that we need to make sure that we're putting our floors under the doorways as well. So just one of those little things that I never really stopped to consider, but I did notice it was getting kind of nasty around the doors. I just didn't realize that was why. So we've got all that taken care of now. So I've added, uh, I had someone gift me, thank you very much, the, uh, the add-on pack, uh, the royalty um, DLC for this game. And I guess now that's uh, where we're getting this particular quest. It says, Eris Holmes, the dame of the Exodus Empire, is calling from nearby. Her guards were killed in an ambush. She escaped, but is now being followed by a manhunting squirrel. Uh, Eris wants you to keep her safe at Jamestown for a few hours until a shuttle can come pick her up. She will bestow eight honor on whoever accepts this quest. This is enough honor to receive the royal title of yeoman and all benefits that come with it, including the first level of psychic powers. All right, so this is not something that I necessarily know a lot about, really, but we'll accept that for Hunter because uh, he's obviously the one uh, that would most be able to deal with this man-hunting squirrel when it comes along. Why does Hunter not have a range? Oh, that's Eris that does not have a ranged weapon. All right, so we need to go and protect Eris. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and send Hunter out there. See if we can go meet up and try to find where this squirrel is because I'm sure it's not far behind. Eight hours isn't very long to have to protect somebody, so where's that crazy squirrel? All right, here it comes. Where is it? There it is. All right. Let's watch that bad boy. It's coming in behind. I think Hunter ought to, ought to be able to deal with this. I don't have any cover all right hunter take him down oh, it's gonna turn to melee here in a second oh nice shot there we go problem solved all right, you can go back now. So now we're just going to keep Eris handy. It looks like Eris is going to come jump right in and help out with things. So that's cool. Eris is going to do a little cooking while hanging out with us. And just like that, the shuttle has arrived. The shuttle's leaving in 18 hours. Uh, that's cool. Eris is doing some research for us in the meantime, which is awesome. Maybe. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Stick around for a while. We gotta get that hunting done. We're getting a little low on meals here. And it looks like we're ready to harvest our potato plants. They're only 70% grown, but uh, what's cool about this is that they automatically start regrowing the minute you 
harvest them. So it's kind of worth it to just go ahead and harvest all of those. And then we'll just start regrowing another batch. Hunter's healing up after that encounter with the squirrel. All right, we got a trading party that's arrived. Let's see if they've got anything at all worth trading for. There's a lot here. There's some animals that we could trade for. I don't know if that's necessarily something I need at the moment. Definitely don't need meals. Uh, advanced components, I suppose, might come in handy. Glitter World Medicine, Plast Steel, a Psychic Animal Pulsar. What does that do? Driving animals in the region into a manhunting rage. Yeah, I don't think that's something we want right now. There's a kidney. Also not something I think I need at the moment. I know that there's some kind of organ harvesting component to this game. I guess i got to watch some videos and figure that out. We've got a mega screen television. It's 2000 though. I don't really have anything of great value to trade to earn a lot of this stuff. So... I guess we're going to kind of pass for now. Doctor has trained our donkey in the first level of rescue, so that's kind of helpful. Eventually, we'll also train the donkey to be able to haul things. Uh, so that's going to kind of extend the abilities of our uh, village somewhat. What do we got here? Psychite tea. So we've got to get this stuff all moved indoors. We need to start making the rooms more than just the basics here. So I'm going to add a few things like dressers, for example. Um, I guess we can probably squeeze them back in there, can't we? And how about something like a plant pot? Seems like a nice thing to add to give a little bit of ambiance to the rooms, I guess. Wait, why did the quest fail? Did I actually have to tell her to go? I must have had to actually tell her. Uh, I guess I screwed that up. I, I just assumed she'd get on the shuttle herself. All right. Lesson learned the hard way. So now we're starting to make some fine meals because we've got the potatoes to be able to mix with the meat. So is Eris, what's Eris doing now? We got a fire? Are you kidding me? Uh, put out the fire. Thank you. At least it didn't spread. Could have been a lot worse. All right, so we have completed research on smithing, which is going to allow us to make some things, uh, but nothing really that we want in and of itself. This is really just a step in a process uh, toward other things that we want to be able to get. Uh, for example, machining, which will lead to gunsmithing, uh, blowback operation, and eventually the ability to build gun turrets for protection. Uh, I don't know if we need all of that right now. Uh, honestly, I'm kind of thinking about maybe going back and doing tree sowing because I think we're still pretty early in the game. And that will allow us to get a lot more wood available to us, which I think will increase how quickly we're allowed to uh, or we're able to build things and expand. Hunter's gotten food poisoning from a fine meal because of a dirty cooking area. We need to clean our cooking area. All right, so we've got to work on cleaning. Let me look at our work for a minute here because nobody's really got a huge priority on cleaning. Uh, so I think somebody probably needs to make that more of a priority. I'm looking to see uh, who has, I guess it's probably going to have to be Hunter. We're going to make cleaning a top priority for Hunter. You have detected a cluster of cargo pods crashing nearby. Perhaps you could find something useful in the wreckage. Oh, yeah, it sure appears that way. What do we got here? Pemmican. So this is the stuff that is really nutritious. It doesn't taste particularly great, but is very helpful as far as food goes. And that might be something that we can use if we decide to try and kind of go out a little ways and explore. Not a whole lot else here. Steel slag chunks, which eventually we'll be able to turn into steel, I guess. We really need to get some new people in the village. I, I just... I need more than just three people to do everything I want to be able to do. What is going on here? What is that mess? Oh, doctor's cleaning it up, so whatever it is, it's gone. So I guess we should designate a spot for throwing parties. Let our people have some fun, huh? Is it something we have to kind of do like this? I guess that's how we do it. And then we'll throw like a, I don't know, a fire pit in the center somewhere. 
Where is that? Oh, yeah, it's under temperature. Campfire. We'll put a campfire right here in the middle. Space already occupied. Oh, you can't put a campfire where you have a party thing? All right, that's fine. There we go. Put a spot for folks to play horseshoes over here somewhere. Uh, eventually, I'd like to make an entire room for recreation so we could have a billiards table, table, poker table, put the chess table in there. Uh, but with only three people, I just feel like it's probably overkill to do that right now. Let's look at production. Uh, we need a smithy, an electric smithy. So where can we put that? Do we have a spot that we can put it in here? I guess we can. All right, that'll do for now. Eventually, we'll move that, and we'll have like an area. We can expand this area here and make it one big area for doing all kinds of research and work and stuff like that. What else? We don't have a stone cutter's table, but I don't really have a lot of need for that right now. The smelter would actually come in handy, though. Maybe we do need to just expand this room up here. All right, so here we go. We're going to expand this space into a nice big area for doing all of our research and things of that nature. And then we'll actually move this electric smithy up here. We'll move the tailor bench up there. And then we'll also go ahead and add our smelter in there. We'll have, we have one laboratory. I'll probably add a second in here somewhere so we can have two people researching at the same time. And I think that's probably everything we need for now. Okay, so I've been keeping my eye out for sources of steel because we need some. And I've actually found one here. So uh, we're going to start queuing this all up to be mined. It looks like we've got a nice bunch of steel right in here. And that should keep us going for quite a while. I got lost. I can't find my village. Here we go. Yeah, we're completely out. We're trying to run conduit up here for electricity. And then, of course, having to, to build our smelter. We just don't have the steel to be able to complete those things. All right, and just like that, we've got a raid happening. So we're going to go ahead and grab Hunter. Hunter ought to be able to handle this without any trouble. Uh, but just to be extra safe, we're also going to grab Crafty, our blacksmith. Uh, where are they currently? Because what we're going to need to do is make sure that they're in the right area to be able to respond to these folks. Okay. So let's head over, I don't know, say right here. All right, he's going around that way, so we're going to have to do the same. And then we'll slow down to a slower time here. Okay. Where's Crafty? Oh, he's way over there. Okay. A little close for comfort here. I think Hunter's going to have some trouble. Hunter's been stunned. You're going to have to switch to melee. Oh, come on, Crafty. Get there. feel like this is not going to end well. Hunter's, uh, she's got some problems. Oh, get a little closer. Ugh. You are a terrible shot. There we go. Alright, so did we actually, is this person alive? They are. Okay. So let's capture them. So here's our opportunity to maybe add someone to the village. Because if we capture them, and then we can eventually turn them to our side, we have that prison cell that we've been saving for just a time like this. This could e eventually be our fourth person in our village. So they're obviously going to need some health, and doctor's on the way to deal with that. All right, Hunter, you can go about your business. This is going to take a while. Let's take a look at the prisoner. Uh, 47 resistance. Wow, that's a lot. 
Um, that's going to be very, very difficult to reduce. So we'll see how quickly we can reduce that resistance. If it's going to take a really long time, it might not be worth it. Last time I had I captured somebody when I was playing this game, the resistance was like five. All right, we're going to harvest our cotton. While I'm exploring, I'm also finding gold ore, and there's more compacted steel over here. So there's a lot of really useful stuff to be mined if I just kind of keep looking for it. Not entirely sure what gold ore will do for us other than being used for trading. But that'll certainly come in handy. Hunter's still recovering. That's going to take a little bit of time. No sooner had my fighter been healed, Hunter, than another attack is coming. This time in the form of a female penitent with a steel knife. So we're going to have to start getting ready again. And this time I want to be more prepared than I was before. So one of the things that we're going to do is if I have time, I don't know that I do, uh, is I need to actually uh, put up some sandbags somewhere. I don't know, like maybe out here that I can use for protection. But I think Hunter's a little busy right now, and we don't even have electricity because Hunter was the one who was dealing with that. So we've got to take a look at our work assignments because nobody's doing the some of the work that needs done, like being able to load this thing. So I guess what I'm going to have to do is just kind of go and do some of this stuff manually like prioritize refueling the generator. Uh, I've told Hunter to prioritize building these sandbags. I don't know if we'll get it done that fast, but we're certainly going to try. Oh, I wanted you to do all of them. All right. I guess we got to do that individually. Here they come. So I'm very quickly going to try to build one more part of the sandbag I don't know if I've got time, though, because here they come. Okay. So let's go ahead and draft. Let's get behind here. And then wait. It's dark, so it's going to be that much harder to see where they are. Oh, there's some steel. Here they come. Nice. We got a hit. Hopefully this time we avoid any injury to Hunter. Oh, not if you're going to miss like that. All right, I guess we're going to have to melee this again. Poor Hunter. They just got healed from the last attack. Good night. I need a bayonet on this thing. Melee level three. Good. Level that up. All right. We, we probably should have brought help sooner. In the form of crafty. Oh, no. Hunter's down. Okay. That didn't work out so well. Ugh. Get a little closer to shoot. No, 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 you don't. No, you don't. All right. Rescue Hunter, quickly. Is that one dead? Okay, that one's dead. All right, get him out of there. Oh, that was brutal. That was really brutal. So it looks like our prisoner is now fully healed. So that's a step in the right direction. Um, I want to look at their bio real quick to see if that's even somebody we want to try and recruit. All right, plants is good. Construction good. Melee decent. So, yeah, I think this is the kind of person that we would probably like to have, uh, if at all possible. There's no incapable ofs. Uh, it's just going to take a long time to wear down this resistance of 46. Of course, we could make a ton of money from selling them too, but I don't think that's the way we want to go. I'm going to bury this body. 
I don't think anybody's making that a priority right now, though. Hunter's up and around. Playing some chess. So, guess not feeling too awful bad, huh, Hunter? You can see I really did gather a ton of steel from that location. And we're bringing it all over now. Hunter's still trying to recover, and it's really hurting my village to be down a worker uh, for this extended period of time. Uh, this prisoner keeps puking in his cell, uh, so it certainly isn't helping things. Hunter is picking out on food because of poor mood. The final straw was the low psychic drone. Well, if that's the worst thing that happens from it, I guess it's not too bad, but it looks like Hunter's finally healthy again. So hopefully the, the mood picks up considerably from that. Psychic drone is ending. Let's see how Hunter's needs are now yeah pretty good pessimistic is about the worst thing you can say got a lot of steel now we need to worry about making parkas for the winter we need to worry about getting our research done i think hunter's gonna have to go out and find let's take a look at the animals that are around because uh, somewhere there's got to be animals that we can hunt there we go um hunt for some clothing to be able to make the parkas with so let's hunt some bucks um wild boars i don't know if they do the trick or not actually a yak would work perfectly why don't we go after some yaks or even a mega sloth we'll go after one yak for now don't get hurt again hunter please all right, a 15-year-old firekeeper named Miss Misaki Atkins is calling for help. She's hiding from a malfunctioning weather control satellite. She wants to flee and join you in Jamestown. If she joins you, the weather will be foggy rain for 18 days until the satellite resets. Desperate to stay hidden, she can't tell us more. All right, we'll allow her. I'm a little nervous about that. I'm building a second area for a cell because um, I want to have the opportunity to um, capture a second person if possible. And also to be able to imprison someone if the need arises, like my person who tried to eat all my food when he became ravenous. Uh, so let's take a look at Atkins. Atkins is a fire keep. Uh, not real great in a lot of things. Decent cook, decent melee. But not terrible either. So uh, I'm not entirely sure how much they would add. Except that it's just another set of hands. Which I guess is good enough. So now that we're into September, uh, we need to think about heat. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding sources of heat in a couple of key locations around here. Uh, just because we're going to need it when the time comes. I don't think we need it too much in the kitchen. Well, it's only 45 degrees in the kitchen, so maybe we do. Uh, let's add a vent in the kitchen so that temperature should kind of make its way into the other areas man didn't realize it would get that cold a livestock farmer named starry has arrived and is joining the colony he is willing to contribute but will not leave voluntarily if you don't want starry you can banish him sell him into slavery or simply kill him however your other colonists may find this disturbing all right well what does Starry have to offer us, I guess, is the question. Uh, Starry's not incapable of anything. He's uh, great with animals, good social, decent melee, some construction skill. Yeah, Starry, all right. Welcome to the colony. Uh, I guess we're going to have to start thinking about expansion a little bit here. Um, we might go ahead and add some, maybe three more bedrooms on this side uh, as a starting point. So let me go ahead and deal with that. And I'm also trying to make some more room for maybe making some art so we can get some nicer decor all right so we're getting all this built up and i think we're going to need to go ahead and put some vents in here allow the temperature to flow into the new areas probably going to need to add a heater to at least one of these rooms we're also going to need to 
expand our power to reach there. I think I'll turn one of these into our new hospital room. So we have a little bit of privacy for that. I'm also uh, making different floors for these ones. This should be a little nicer. Okay, and the last thing we're going to do for this episode is I think we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a wind turbine. I have some alternate source of power that doesn't require a continuous uh, feeding of fuel. Uh, so we're going to throw that up here. Obviously, we're going to have to clear uh, all of the, the trees that are in the area. Clear out all the plants. Chop the wood. Just so there's nothing blocking it. And then we'll have to throw a conduit down just to connect to the source of power and I think I'll wrap up right there I've got a lot of things I gotta kind of go in and sort like our people uh, and their assignments with the new folks that we have now we could have as many as six if we can get this prisoner brought around but right now it's just not looking real promising because he's still at 38.9 for resistance I may be better off selling him into slavery so we'll see what happens. But let me know your thoughts. Use the comment section below. Uh, what else should I be doing that I'm not doing? What should I be thinking about? What should I be planning for? What should I be building? Hit that like button if you would. And we'll see you again in another couple of days with another episode. Thanks for watching.